All right. So that I think brings me to the question of the week. And so question of the week this week is my question for you sort of inspired by a number of readers. So I got a similar question a couple of times, not, not even a question, I got a similar comment a couple of times on post this week. So we wrote uh, about a deal this week that I don't know if it'll still be going on when this thing, uh, when our, our podcast publishes, but at least during this week, and you can check and see if it's still going, Rakuten was offering 7,500 points or $75 cash back when you opened a Betterment checking account and you fund it with at least a dollar. So all you had to do is open a checking account, fund it with a buck, get yourself 7,500 points or $75. Relatively low checking account bonus, but like no requirement. All you had to do is open it, deposit a buck, right? And so in response to that, in Frequent Miler Insiders, I, I, somebody had said something to the effect of, you know, I saw that and it was just like, too good to be true. And so I, I knew it wasn't for me. Like, you know, if it, if it looks too good <laughs> okay. to be true, then something must be wrong. Right. So like, it, it's just, it's, and I was like, what do you mean too good to be true? It's only like 75 bucks. And she said, well, it's seven, 7,500 points for a dollar. That's just too good to be true. I didn't think it was going to work out. And, and then similarly on uh, the, the post that I wrote about forming an LLC this week, talking about the Brex bonus, it's somebody else in there in that thread who said the same kind of thing. Like, I don't get it. How is Brex making money on this? They're giving away this huge bonus and it's not exactly a credit card situation, blah, blah, blah. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. And so I heard that same kind of, if, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is a couple of times this week. And so the question that came to my mind was, how do you know when it's that kind of situation? How do you know when it's something that's reliable or like, do you ever have that where you're like, no, this sounds too good to be true. It probably is too good to be true. I'm gonna avoid this deal because it, it can't possibly work out. How do you evaluate things to know what is too good to be true? Yeah, wow. You know, I mean, that's a, that's a great, I don't have a, a, a answer ready for you off the top of my head. Maybe, right. maybe you do, no, um, I but, really. but what, I, what sort I of occurs to me. Yeah, it, yeah, absolutely. What, what kind of occurs to me as, as I think about it is, is um, someone has to do with like how familiar you are with similar things, right? So we're familiar with credit card or bank account bonuses or credit card bonuses. And so when we see one that sounds great uh, it doesn't seem like it's a too good to be true thing because we've we've done similar things and gotten rewards so this is just more of that kind might be slightly better might be slightly worse i mean you had mentioned the the um the betterment one i mean that's a for a bank account bonus 75 bucks that's very small so right you know right that was that was what came to my mind when, when right, somebody said right. it sounds too good to be true it probably is i was like 75 bucks sounds too good to be true like i mean like it, you aren't watching the bank account bonuses then because bank account bonuses frequently could be three, four, five, six, seven hundred dollars sometimes for opening an account and depositing a little bit of money. So I, I thought 75 bucks, like how can that possibly sound too good to be true? But then I looked at it from the other perspective and I said, well, she's looking at it as I only need to deposit a dollar and I get 7,500 free points. That sounds like how can that possibly work out? It doesn't make any sense. They're not making any profit on that. And so I can understand the skepticism, uh, skepticism rather. Uh, but I don't know why I don't have that filter, like where I, I, I looked at that and there was, I never in a million years questioned whether or not that was going to pay out. And I don't necessarily know why or what, what it is that I use to filter to say, okay, that deal probably isn't any good, but this deal probably is. Although I think you made a good point there in the familiarity, because I've gotten the same thing from friends before that, that have asked me a little bit about credit cards. And I've said, oh, yeah, you can sign up for this credit card and you spend a few thousand dollars and you get hundreds of dollars back, whatever it might be, you know, whatever the offer might be. Sapphire Preferred, for instance, like I'll right. explain, you get 60,000 points, which are worth $600. And they're like, wait, I just have to sign up for a card and spend $4,000 and I get $600 back. And I'd be like, yeah, I mean, that's kind of how it works. And they'll say, oh, that, that sounds too good to be true. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah, no, I'm, I mean, I, th yeah. I, think there, I think there's the familiarity and I think there's also that we kind of understand a little bit of what's behind it, right? That, that, that basically companies are, instead of paying for advertising, they're, they're basically paying customers <laughs> directly in a way, right? They're, mm -hmm. they're saying, right. we're going to pay you to be, become our customer because we believe that in the long run, we're going to have a profitable relationship with you and, you know, sort of cut out the middleman in a way. And, and um, that's basically what's happening. And it, 
I think that's great. Instead of, you know, right. <laughs> instead of the big right. TV networks making money, you're, right. you're, you're making something by signing up. And uh, no, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, so how whole... do they make money? I mean, like you look at something like Brex and Brex is offering what, like 110,000 points that could be transferable to airlines or could be $1,100 on this Brex cash account that you've written about. Now I've written about it and, and you have to have a business. And so you, know, you got to have an LLC or an S corp or something like that, not a sole proprietorship, but it, it does kind of, I can get where somebody would say it sounds too good to be true. Cause you, you have to spend like what, $3,000 on the card and you end up with $1,100 and potentially cash. And so it's very low bar requirements, not a hard pull situation not an account that's going to appear on your credit reports. And so uh, the question from the reader in that case was, I don't get what's in it for them. Like how is Brex making money on this? Or like giving away all these points in cash. Yeah. And that's, that's a, a similar question I've gotten on lots of deals like that before SoFi and, you know, whatever the, the various deals have been like, what's in it for them? How are right. You- right. Yeah. I mean, you have two different things. So, so in, in these cases that you're talking about with, with Brex and with SoFi, like what we had in, in, I think, in both of those cases are basically uh, very young companies with probably a lot of venture capital money that they're trying to just make a splash in the market. And their way is the way of doing that is by... Uh, giving stuff away, basically, <laughs> you know, it's not, that's not sustainable in, in that situation. Right. So it's, it's like, we have however much million dollars for basically expanding our customer base. So we're going to do that very rapidly by, by giving customers big, big perks. Right. Mm-hmm. That doesn't mean they're going to be doing the same two years from now. They probably, right. they almost certainly probably will not won't. be. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> right. That's why you got to strike while the iron is hot, right? You know, I, you know, look at SoFi. And SoFi was super generous back in like October of 2019. They were giving money away like candy. And, That's right. Oh, it's like very little dribs and drabs. And and, and they've changed the, the account and the, obviously the interest because interest rates are down everywhere. But also for new customers, the ATM fee reimbursements and cash back. They've made all these changes along the way. And that's kind of expected. That's what's going to happen because the venture money is not going to last forever. But they're exactly, I think what you said is, is what it is. They're trying to make a splash. It's just like if you've ever been outside of a sports stadium and seen some brand giving away a billion of their energy drink or, you know, or, or snack bar or whatever it is. I mean, that's costing them something too. They're just giving it away for free person after person. Right. The idea is hopefully they're going to draw customers in for the long term, And so I think that's where this comes from. And I'm, I'm, I'm not, I just, I'm not intimidated by that in the sense that I'm not going to probably sit it out when I mean, I, I've often said before that when there's venture capital money to burn. I got a book of matches, you know, <laughs> I'll, I'll take, I'll take right. whatever it is that they're offering and, and maybe it'll be great. You know, like this Brex account, maybe I'll love the Brex account and decide that I want to keep it. I certainly think the rewards seem interesting and intriguing. So I probably will keep it around. I mean, I keep a ton of money in it. We'll see. Uh, but but I mean, I think it's intriguing anyway. I'm not worried that I'm going to lose my money because it's FDIC insured the, the same way as many of these, you know, like banking app skin things. But right. so yeah, I guess that's what it comes from is the familiarity where we're like, ah, I've seen this movie before, you know? And- <laughs> yeah, we've seen the movie and we sort of understand be- what's behind it as well. You know, just just the, the high level stuff. That doesn't mean we're not going to get caught up and, you know, no. signing up for something that that doesn't work out for us that will that'll happen probably but sure. uh but but more often than not these things are are what they what they seem to be and uh so yeah that's, yeah, that's part <laughs> of the exciting uh, the, the fun of playing the game i guess right it's like you know right right now you know i guess i i feel like i need to to add a a caution right because a lot of these things especially the credit card deals like you're going to lose if, if you're not careful with your money, right? So if you're mm-hmm. not paying your bill in time and so you end up incurring interest payments and, and penalties and all that stuff, you're not going to win the game. So yes, you right. got the $500 bonus or whatever it is, but now you're going to be ending up paying them like $150 every month forever or whatever it is. And, and right. you're going to lose big time if, if that's right. the case. So, so um, you know, you use gotta be a good player in those situations. Yeah, like if you're gonna play the game, you gotta you gotta play well. Otherwise, right, you know, right, pass the ball off and sit down on the bench for a little bit. If, you know if that's what you gotta do. But yeah, I mean, I and that's a good point. That's another good point. That's worth making because people do get drawn in on those things. I had a, a, a 
family member who posted on social media just recently saying, you know, is the Amazon credit card any good? And, and so, you know, I looked through the responses from this family member's friends and there were a number of people that were like, oh yeah, it's great. You know, I, uh, uh, um, uh, and I can't remember exactly. So somebody said something like, you know, I, uh, I carry some balance on it, but I get all these rewards and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but I can't remember how they said it, but however they yeah. said it, it was clear that they were carrying a balance month to month, but they were excited that they were getting 5% back on Amazon. And I was thinking, you know, if you're paying out 19%, you're not getting anything. Like, right. you, know, <laughs> you just feel like you're getting something. And, yeah. and I, I thought, oh man, it you know, worked on that person. You know, like that person got tricked into it and, and I kind of felt bad that, that they had, but, um, but yeah, so, I mean, there, there certainly are ways to kind of get lost in the game and to lose. And there are some things that just don't work out. You know, like I wrote about checking sure. bonuses last year. I, I did really well on a bunch of them, but there was one checking account where I just didn't get the bonus and I never got the money. And then, uh, you, know, you know, sad music <laughs> for me, it's uh, whatever. I'll move on with my life. I didn't follow the requirements to a T. So I knew there was a risk that I wouldn't get it. And, and that's the way it goes. So, I mean, sometimes you will lose, but I haven't, I haven't lost big on one of these things, especially in the banking side. When it's like banks offering this stuff, I, I find it's generally pretty reliable, right? I mean, if they offer a credit card with a bonus, well, you get the bonus. If they offer right. a checking account. If you do what it actually says you have to do, you get the bonus, right? Right, right. There, yeah, absolutely. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyway. It so sounds too good to be true. I mean, I've told people about that, about our hobby, that, that it's one of the rare places where it sounds too good to be true but it's true. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so. Exactly. All the time. Right. I mean, like you're, you're sitting there in your, your swanky three bedroom ocean front place and you're like, yeah, you know, I, I didn't pay for the three bedroom, but I got the three bedroom. And, you know, that sounds too good to be true, but, but that's the way it works. out. So yeah. So have fun with the hobby. 